Hi everyone and welcome to the Yellowfin training. This lesson is about customizing Yellowfin to be able to have your own corporate look and feel. So let's jump in and get started. So by the end of this lesson, we're really hoping that you'll be able to understand the value that you can add to your Yellowfin instance by changing the colors and adding your logos and corporate image to it. And also you'll be aware of all these options that are available in regards to being able to restyle Yellowfin. Restyling sounds like a really simple thing, but it actually is really amazing how much restyling Yellowfin can increase the adoption of the product. So it's always worth actually investing time into restyling. So to get started, we're going to look at a number of different areas where you can add your corporate look and feel. So the first area is storyboard themes. Now, as you all should know, Storyboard is a presentation tool that's within Yellowfin. And with Storyboard, you actually add a theme to it, which is just the background shapes and uh, logos and things that appear. Now, out of the box, Storyboard comes with a few different uh, themes that you know Yellowfin provide for you. But, you know, we'll be honest and we admit it, they're very Yellowfin orientated. So if you actually want to create something for your own company, you need to do it yourself. So themes are actually located in the administration menu. Um, so I'm going to swap between Yellowfin and the storyboard here. So we'll just jump across. So if I navigate to the administration menu and just admin console. Now within here, I'm going to scroll down until we find storyboard themes. And here I can see the two themes that are within my instance. Now, if you want to investigate these themes, you can open them up and you can actually have a look at how these themes have been built. Now, it's a different sort of menu to navigate through, but it won't take you too long to get the hang of it. What you do is you choose the type of slide you want to look at. So, you know, I want to look at the title slide. And then you'll get a pop out of any additional options. So we can adjust like the color of the text, for example. So if we want to go a bit crazy, like I could go, let's make that yellow text. So I'll, I'll just undo that. Let's put that back to white. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit hard to read. Now, in the background where those little mountains are that we can see, that's just one big image. And so there's just a JPEG that we've actually uploaded into Yellowfin to sit as that background image. So they're very easy to navigate. I just really easily can change all the settings for each of my different types of slides. I've got my table of content slides, um, and then we've actually got text slides and page layouts. So if I want to do like a section title, I can have a look at that. Now these sections and page layouts are much better when you actually apply a theme to them. So just choose one of the themes. So now I'll be able to see this theme's version of a section title slide. So yeah, those little sections just allow you to have different colors and uh, maybe topics within your storyboard. So you can add as many different sections as you like. I always find the best way to learn how to do something is to actually unpack a completed version, which is why I've showed you how to read or you know have a look at those existing themes already. If you want to add a new one, you'd simply press this add button and Yellowfin's going to take you to a blank version of this where you'll walk through each of these steps to build the exact layouts that you want. So it is fairly easy for you. So as a bare minimum, I always recommend that you should have at least one theme that is, you know, your company colors and logo. So take the time to get that set up. Now, another area that's really easy to rebrand or restyle is the email template. So as you probably know, Yellowfin sends out emails at different events. So you can control the events that actually trigger emails. But just as an example, you might have emails being sent out when a new user is created. They'll get an email to say, you know, here's your username and password. Um, or maybe if you're sharing a report. So, you know, every Monday I might get a report emailed to me. And this is the way it would appear. So this here is the out of the box Yellowfin email template. But you can really easily customize this to have your own logo, your own colors on this. I guess there's nothing worse than thinking your product is called something else and then all of a sudden you start getting emails from Yellowfin. So again, this is in the admin console menu. And if I just scroll up to the top, it's actually right here at the top in this configuration sub panel. 
Now, so in the email template, uh, you're, I'm just getting a warning here to say that I haven't actually got an email like service set up or anything. So even though I'm going to customize it, it won't send anything. So if you do see that error, that's, you know, you need to go and set up your mail settings first, which were covered in the previous lesson. But what we're focusing on is just this template. So there's just different elements making up this template of the email. The header image is that blue logo with yellow fin in it and that little wave. That's just one JPEG that I've actually just uploaded there. Then I choose the background color. So this gray color is doing our background there. So we can be radical and make it go yellow or something. And maybe we'll make the actual text go some bizarre purple, let's say. And if I just save that, it doesn't quite refresh instantly. So let me just save that and reopen that. So now we can see a bit of a preview of these crazy colors coming through. Now I'd show you crazy colors just so you can really clearly see exactly what areas are changing. But I really hope you've got more style sense than I do. Now, after this are all these um, different fonts and things we can choose. So the salutation is the Hey or oh, Hi Emma sort of font. So I can choose the font size and color of that. Then there's a line style. So there's actually a little line going across there. You can't see him very well with my purple um, background color there. Um, and we can even change the weight of that if you wanted to make it thicker or perhaps actually thinner and you don't want to see it. So it actually it just disappeared just then. Now, so yeah, we've got all these different fonts we can come through and choose and you can see them update. So most things will update as you change them here on the page. And if they don't, just save it and then come back in just because it's probably caching in your browser. Now, let's scroll down to the bottom. So we've got our subject, our font for the body. Um, and then there's the footer, which is this section here. So I choose the font sizes of that. And then I have just the background colors. So that top blue line of it, the dark gray here in the background. And you actually can put in a custom footer, which will replace that area. Now, you're not allowed to remove uh, this section here. It's actually part of the solid inbuilt template. So you have to be able to leave that link in there that 